YouTube, welcome back to another Honkai Star Road reaction video. Got a special one in for you guys. Today, we are going to be reacting to the version 2.3 special program titled Farewell Panacone. I am watching the VOD because uh, I was unfortunately busy at the time of release, but hopefully uh, not too late. Uh, just a quick reminder that all of the redemption codes will be available uh, and up for redemption uh, as of time of upload so please 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 do remember to claim them uh, while you still can uh, of course that's about two pools for you free two pools who wouldn't want two pools right and yeah i haven't seen anything about the new update the only thing that i know that we're getting is going to be the uh, new um permanent the new permanent uh game mode something that i think what is it called apocalyptic shadow something like that uh, it's supposed to be something that alternates along with uh, Pure Fiction and Memory of Chaos. Uh, but other than that, not sure what we're going to be getting. So yeah, let us skip ahead and see what we are what we are going to be here for. Let me get a sip of water before we start. Alright, let's go. Program starting. This will also mark the uh, epilogue of uh, Panacone. Hey, Albert. All eyes are on the Pentagoni Repishage, which is now in its fourth round. Repishage? What is that? competitors are still vying for their shot of victory. Oh, that must be the new event then. Inferno's fiery demise. The family would like to reassure everyone that no contestants have come to harm. Hmm. <laughs> That's still the case, right? <clears throat> With the crisis dispelled, only flowers, glory, and rapturous applause await. <laughs> and not to mention a pool party. Oh, Acheron. <laughs> Miss Acheron. Angela Clark. Didn't we all agree to the Sorry, Allegra now? Clark. My bad. <laughs> not a swimsuit. <laughs> <laughs> Is that what we agreed? Dad, but you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, not all you. Can I borrow? <gasps> Jade! <laughs> hey! Jade. One so of the ten stone hearts. Ooh. <laughs> the corporation is planning to increase the special program budget. Please do. Here, it's all in the agreement. <laughs> thank you, Miss Jade! And thank you, RPC. <laughs> Where do I sign? Pleasure doing business. Right, Jade is coming. <laughs> Aw, Albert's uh, whip. And Miss Firefly as well. You know what I'm talking about. Into Sam? Now's the perfect time. Into Sam? Hey, it's just there's a lot of people around. No problem. If anything goes wrong, just blame your good buddy Albert. Oh boy. In that case. Check out the newest upgrade. I shall set the seas ablaze. Oh, that's so precious. God damn it. All right. To me, hiding is much easier than being honest. Firefly. Yet, I still want to try expressing my. Oh, that's a phone. Ooh. Any ordinary person would. Guys, I'm still on the fence. Oh, 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 <gasps> the button. Excuse me? Oh god, what? What? Sam and Firefly. God damn, that is cool. Stell. Oh, that's Sparkle's bomb? So now, Question mark? Jade. Do you understand what you must give up, Miss Sam? <sighs> from here point, that distant as it may be, I'm more than capable of keeping you on a tight leash. Ooh. Now. Okay, that was cool. That was cool. Eyes glowing. Oh my god. My script isn't over yet. Oh. Little Yelena? What? Robin? Wait, what's that? Wait, sorry, sorry. Hold on. Oh, that was Robin, wasn't it? Sparkle. What on earth is happening?
Thank you for the follow. Screw them. As the next phase of the simulated universe. Right, right. We're getting the ah subject matter that Dr. Ratio and I have personally agreed on. Ratio's here. Farewell, Tenacony. All right. All right. All right. So, uh, once again, just a quick reminder that the redemption codes are available for you guys to redeem. Um, and as of time of upload for this video, uh, the redemption codes will still be up. So please remember to claim them. Uh, I'll type them out in chat for the see you guys on Twitch. So that you guys will be able to see. Ah, I cannot type. Hold on. <laughs> Alright. Yeah. I'm gonna pin this for you guys. Uh, we'll leave it on for 30 minutes. Yeah. <clears throat> All right. Yep. Okay. Yep. So I've pinned the uh, latest ver ver verification code, redemption code. Yeah. So keep a look out for that. Uh, so it seems like we're finally getting the closure of the story in Pentacony. Uh Seems to be a struggle between the family and the IPC for this one. Very interested in seeing what's going to happen. Alright! Ouch. <laughs> Your friendliest feathered announcer. Welcome to the version 2.3. Farewell, Pentacony special program. Let's go. Program, we have with us a Galaxy Ranger. Pretty well stacked cla a class. Class. Oh my God, Not I cannot mention, speak. A director of the IPC Strategic Investment Department, Madam Jade. <laughs> That's me. Thank you for the invite. Ooh. It's a pleasure to be here for the version 2.3 special program. You can call me Acheron. So, what exactly is this newest upgrade you were all talking about? <laughs> I just showed everyone! Hi, Trailblazers! Firefly here! Welcome! Hey! Welcome. Now, before we go any further, we agreed to a pool party! And everyone's sitting on the side. I'm the only one that showed up in a swimsuit! <laughs> <laughs> ah. We thought you were joking. After all, this show never previously had pool parties. And God, Albert with the glasses. <laughs> Madam Jane's uh -huh. investment is on the way. Next time for sure. Anyway, take a look around, you guys. We're coming to you live from the skies above Pinnacone. In none other than the Radiant Feldspar airship. Radiant Feldspar airship. Oh, is this the uh, airship that Butil was like, kind of like fighting through the IPC members, uh, in his trailer? Or am I, tro or, uh, or am I just remembering things wrong? <laughs> oh wow! This is new. I have not finished exploring the version 2.2 place yet. Oh god! Help! <laughs> Relax at the poolside with a few glasses. Ooh, Trotters on Trotters. Wait, that was cute. Hold on. This grand airship has sailed above Pentacony's Sea of Dreams for an Ooh. entire Amber era, suspending services only recently in the wake of the crisis. Yeah, speaking of the crisis, please. For this matter. Please let us know what happens. Oh my god. The Radiant Failed Spa never opens to the public. Ooh. Most that looks like a new SU thing. Such breathtaking aerial views like the uh, symbol. You mean to say that? Farewell, Pentacony. Whole versions. The Trailblazers might finally be able to take a vacation. <laughs> Let's not get ahead of ourselves. The Trailblazers' recent battle against the Order caused great disturbance at Pentacony. Mm -hmm. Correct. The Charmony Festival was forced to terminate. One can well imagine the damage to public opinion. Indeed, the yeah. The family's reputation must be built anew, and the public must be reassured. So this is the there epilogue, then. There are delicate issues which urgently need addressing. Aside from the Oak family, the major lineages are preparing their responses to help deal with the aftermath. 
In the version 2.3 Trailblaze mission, the express crew will be invited aboard the Radiant Feldspar as witnesses to important family discussions. I see you. But if okay. the factors that disrupted the dreamscape have been resolved, what other assistance is required? The, mm, the order is stepped all over the Harmony Surf. You can't deal with stuff like that out in the open. The family Fair came enough. up with an idea. Fair enough. Place the Radiant Feldspar as the Charmony Festival's location while simultaneously announcing the reopening of the airship. Okay. This razzle dazzle can fool the IPC. During the Grand Theater final battle, Aventurine may have been digging up dirt on the family and Dreamflux reef. Mm -hmm. I need to take care of a few things during my visit to Penacony. So we're going to be seeing Jade and Penacony. Is the IPC about to make a claim on Penacony? Indeed they are. Never Indeed they are. The Ooh. Dang IPC. Oh, for the Amber Lord, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Reading between the lines, it seems like these discussions concern the future of Penacony. Yep. They do. What a quick refresher. Anyone remember a certain... Tell me what happens to Sunday, please. I need to know he's alright. He has not been jerk marketed yet. I want Sunday out as a character, please. Please, I'm saving Jade for him. And and Jiao Tio, of course. I'll, I'll pull for any husbando. This this patch is probably gonna be like <laughs> like a like a breather for me. To allow me to like just breathe for a sec. Cause like cause yeah, I, I've been spending way too much money on um, a certain few characters in the previous few patches that I am not too excited about. As in, like, they're great characters, but I'm not too happy with the amount of money flying out of my bank account. <laughs> Anyways. Issuing mutually assured destruction yes, to Sparkle the with the matte buttons. I remember. Sparkle sent out gifts in each one of the past three versions. Yep. Surely she It's going to be used here. Would pushing the button really cause Penacony to explode? Who knows? I have my doubts. Only one way to find out. Hmm. Whoa. Everyone take a deep breath, okay? <laughs> you guys have been spending too much time with a certain blonde-haired director. <laughs> if you blow up the radio bounce <laughs> spot. Ah, goddamn. It's time we got back to the Charmed Festival, baby. All of them with their little Ooh, chibis are so, so cute. Goddamn. Just when they're about to get interesting, Albert hands things over to the Trailblazers again. <laughs> business is family business, and we've got a show to do. Even if the next young lady needs no introduction. Firefly. Hey, yeah, back to Firefly spot. <laughs> All right. And Sam. Ooh. Sheesh. Okay, that is cool. That is very cool. Is a member of the Star Hunters and hails from Glamoth, a world that was destroyed long ago. Glamoth. The same Glamoth from the Firmament Frontline Glamoth Relic Set. Oh, okay, okay. Description had a story about Glamoth's... Annalisa Fish Fisher. Hell yeah. And Adin Rudd. once a rich and powerful empire with a vast territory. After the swarm invaded, everything was destroyed. Resisting the swarm called for the creation of Glamoth's Iron Cavalry. Mm -hmm. Genetically modified soldiers, weapons that existed only to wage war. They piloted mechs to contain the swarm. I met many of those heroes. Oh god. They bade farewell to many. Oh god. <laughs> oh no. What stood out to me is that Sam's full name is actually Firefly Type 4 Strategic Assault Mech. Meaning that out there, between the distant celestial bodies, there could be other Sams. Maybe. <laughs> That would be so cool, though. Good thinking, Madam J. Perhaps the answer to that question lies in Firefly's myriad Celestia and Ooh, animated short. An animated short as well. Hey, yo. Hey, yo. Firefly best child. Really <laughs> talking when Sam says something, Firefly? Mm-hmm. I actually... 
actually spend a lot of time practicing my Sam lines. Let me of course. The, the cool. Blade came up with the movements and Kaka put them together. Huh? That sounds a little too professional for us. Goddamn. <laughs> well, speaking of professional, I think it's time we took a look at what this young lady can do in her combat. Yes, path. combat, please. I'm a character following the path of destruction. When using my technique during exploration, I summon mm -hmm. my Sam armor. Ooh. Sam can leap into the air. Oh After wow. Landing, Sam attacks all oh, enemies oh, in wow. set range. Quite the heroic. Holy that's crap, that's a lot of damage. To enter battle for every wave of enemies. That's amazing. Okay. On units without fire weakness, which lasts for a set number Oh nah. Days. Oh nah. Sam has two forms. In the initial form, using skill consumes HP. Well, simultaneously, that is a lot of HP. Ultimate energy. Will that is very HP fast. Damage sustained. Hmm. Wait, hold on. Go back. Lower the HP, the less damage sustained. I see. Okay. Hmm. Are all Stellaron hunters this careless with their lives? I mean, you have played. <laughs> when using ultimate, kind of true. <laughs> the second battle form, the dazzling complete combustion state. In addition to more powerful basic attacks and skills, speed is also increased. Oh. When using enhanced abilities, Sam's weakness break efficiency and weakness break damage sustained oh, by that was cool. both increase. Sam restores HP with each attack. So, oh, that's the complete interesting. state allows us to get a glimpse of Firefly's view from the mech. Indeed. That's a determined gaze if I ever saw one. That is cool. Enough to set the seas ablaze, I'll wager. That's so awesome. Sheesh. I want to set the seas ablaze. <laughs> Thanks. The complete combustion state's enhanced skill not only allows for that increased looks like a... toughness reduction, it can also inflict fire weakness on target That is enemies. disgusting. What the heck? The that Sam emits when breaking the enemy's weakness are quite spectacular. That is insane. And is that a countdown icon on the action bar? Oh, that's for when it that's runs right. out, I would when assume. When the countdown is up, Sam will exit the complete combustion state. Fair enough, it fair enough. Like the effects of Firefly's abilities. Just want to know. Just want to that's see. Right. So apparently... When the countdown is up, Sam will exit the complete... So... When Fireflies and her ult, it seems like her ult energy doesn't recharge, un unlike uh, Robin, where Robin's uh, energy recharges as other, as other allies attack. Interesting, okay. State. It seems like the effects of Fireflies yeah, I'm not sure if I'm going to be pulling for Firefly. <clears throat> Because uh, I'm not, I don't, I, I, I'm not a fan of characters that sacrifice like HP to deal damage. Not really a fan of that gameplay. I'm a very like a uh, safe player. The Harmony Trailblazer. Of course, Harmony Trailblazer. Synergy with Harmony Trailblazer. Wonderful coincidence. In version 2.2, the Trailblazer inherited the Watchmaker's legacy and embarked on Misha, my baby boy. The spirit of trailblazing, traversing unprecedented distances to go where none have gone before. Ah, uh, damn. That's what it's all about. Bringing the will of the trailblaze to more and more people. And on that note, I've got some good news for y'all. Hey, yo. After activating the Harmony Trailblazer following the version 2.3 update, trailblazers can obtain a shadow of harmony through the when oh. Harmony rings out event screen. Thereby upgrading the Trailblazer's Eidolon. Oh, okay, that accounts for the missing Eidolon. Okay, okay, okay. Cool. Don't worry. After locking the path of preservation, Trailblazers yet to complete the version 2.2 Trailblaze mission can activate the path of harmony early through the When Charmity Rings Out event screen. <laughs> okay. I hope the will Interesting. Of the okay. reaches everyone on this journey. I can see where they're going with this, with trying to allow for beginner. This time we got to know a certain highly respected IPC director. Oh, <laughs> I'll, I'll the light sticks. Madam Jade. All right, let's see what Jade does. Yeah, so about the uh, Harmony Trailblazer, I understand what they're trying to do. She signs contracts with a lipstick. Damn. Okay. Are those cat eyes at the back? Oh, it's a sn oh snake eyes. Oh god. Okay. 
Oh, oh boy. Oh wow. Damn. Okay. Right, quantum er erudition. Interesting. Who's that on the ground that we see over here? Oops, my bad. <laughs> In contrast with Topaz's negotiation abilities and the Venturine's daredevil spirit, I'd prefer to operate behind the scenes. Fair enough. Using emergency measures to reap a full harvest when the opportunity arises. It feels like making a deal with Jade is a risky proposition. Indeed. If you ever let your Fame guard down even a little bit, you'll never escape her trap no matter how hard you struggle. I think the term you're looking for is... Femme Fatale. The two of you are... F actually, all three of them are Femme Fatales. God damn. And Jade also has a hobby by the name of Bonna Jade Exchange. A pawn shop, essentially. Though it kind of sounds like a fine dining experience. With you on the menu. One swish of the contract and the customer is eight billion credits out of pocket. That is insane. <laughs> Watch your step, trailblazers. Jade's goal always aligns with her own interests. She plays the long game, whetting her customer's appetite while extracting a suitable price. She first draws her customers into a vortex of desire, then bounces where they're most valuable. That sounds about right. Nothing Explains the snake metaphor, of course. That theme. Oh no! At me? Albert, didn't you just sign an agreement with Jade over the special program budget? Oh, oh no! Oh no! <laughs> uh, <laughs> not that that so, Albert. What exactly happens to people who sign agreements with Jade? Patience, patience. Oh boy! Why don't we let the combat do the talking? You know what would be really funny? Following the path of erudition. All right, sorry. You know what would be really funny is that if the next, uh, if the next special program just didn't have any budget whatsoever, <laughs> that would be a really funny like follow through and like a really funny like reference. So like only those that watch um this one will get it. And yeah, I think I wanted to say something about uh about the mail. Oh yeah, about the uh. How many trailblazers are being released? Was that like I understand as for the benefit of new players getting characters early, but I feel like it's a bit more poignant to get it through um completing the story instead. Like I, I, I get what they're trying to do, but at the same time I like like I've no qualms with it, you know. If like it's just my preference. Like I would prefer to get it through the story. Of course, um that doesn't mean that, you know, I'm getting it. Pro not from the story is a bad thing, of course, because it allows more players, especially new ones, to experiment with different kinds of styles of uh, gameplay, different team comps and all that. So yeah, I feel like it's good for new players, but for my own personal preference, I'm glad I got through the content and uh, I'm glad that I've already managed to, you know, um, go through pretty much uh, the story so that I can uh, and get the full experience, especially when uh, getting my Harmony Trailblazer. And if you guys would like to see that, just watch the uh, version 2.2 uh, Trailblaze Quest. It's in the uh, playlist link in the description. Sorry for the self-plug. Continuing on. Jade. My basic attack deals blast damage to a single enemy and adjacent targets. Nah, Tingtra got power crap. This is insane. <laughs> okay, I'm trolling, I'm trolling. A blast damage dealing basic attack. Blast damage. Basic attack, that's new, that's new. My skill, on the other hand, allows me to sign an agreement with a single ally. That doesn't sound thereby good. Thereby granting them enhancement and speed boost by Wait, hold on. My last damage dealing basic... And... Okay, hold on. Targets. I just realized the a counter went up when she hit an enemy. Okay, interesting. Exactly that. Okay. My skill, on the other hand allows me to sign an agreement with a single ally acquisition surety enhancement and speed boost buffs when the signee attacks you're an enemy, erudition buffer additional damage oh and when they hit the enemies you also get at the expense of consuming you their own HP. oh oh that's interesting HP. <laughs> is that what people mean jade has a self buff as well in the guise of sweet dew <laughs> 
Hmm. Now, of course, if I choose myself as the signee, the what? speed boost and HP consumption. Hold if on. I choose myself as the signee, Do you see that? The, the counter went up from like zero to six. Do not apply. When I or a signee launch an attack, yeah, that thing, charges the charges. When charges are full, a follow-up attack is launched. The oh, that is disgusting. Is sure enjoy a follow-up attack. That is disgusting. It seems that the strategic that is disgusting. Holy shit. Its own modus Holy shit. Wait, I can just imagine like a Jade, Herda, Himiko combo. That would be absolutely insane. Absolutely insane. Like a Jade, uh, Herda. Jade, Herda, Himiko, Aventurine. That's it. You're, you're pretty much settled. You don't need to do anything else. That's, that, that's insane. Okay. My ultimate, on the other hand, allows All right. me to meet AOE. punishment in accordance with the agreement. In addition to dealing damage to all enemies, Whoa, what is this? Why are you up here? Bruh. If there's a place the fall off is enhanced. Then are the punish Oof. destined for the place that's furthest from it? Like, an abyss? I know I said I would say for Tiao too, but holy shit, they're making it really hard for me to do that. I am superbly tempted right now. <laughs> you don't think those places might be one and the same? Not at all. When using my technique during exploration, enemies within a set range enter the blind fealty state and will refrain from attacking me. Oh. After attacking okay. an enemy inflicted with blind fealty, other enemies in the state will enter the battle, with all enemies sustaining damage. Oh. Just a single sheet of paper. Interesting. <laughs> okay. Signing away control of your life to others is all too easy. <sighs> Unfortunately, that well, happens in the world it's... way more often than we would I like to admit to. Jade in the IPC's bidding for He's still dead. Oh my god. Albert. Wait, breathe. Breathe. I don't take kindly to procrastination during working hours. <laughs> How are you feeling, Aww. Albert? You Aww. will be retiring Poor Albert. But then, neither will your program. Silver Linus! <laughs> I still feel like I'm working for nothing! <laughs> Why wouldn't Aww. you trouble yourself with that question? Why don't we talk about the version 2.3 banner instead? Oh yeah, banners. Alright. Great idea! In version 2.3's first half, <laughs> can five Oh god, Ron May as well? Oh, hell. In addition, the god damn. Limited five star light cone oh wow, that light cone. Rest, as well as a limited light cone pass up and they have Ron May's light cone up as well. That's actually insane. Because Ron May's light cone is probably the best for your Harmony Trailblazer. God damn. God damn, they know what they're doing with this one. They really know what they're doing with this one. <laughs> RIP, um... Bruh. Bruh. My man is back? Are you kidding me? Oh, my money. Oh, my money. Ah! As well as a okay. Cone, an I want to pull for his Eidolons. I have a feeling I probably will be pulling for his Eidolons. I don't know. We'll see, we'll see. My Argenti is at uh, E1 at the moment. Yeah. So we'll, we'll, we'll see how that goes. I hope, I hope, I hope. Oh. Oh. Oh, it's a Sunday light cone. After awakening, the world remains bound to cycles of pain without hope of escape, just as it always has been. No! Tell me where Sunday is right now. Tell me. Alright. <laughs> I want to know where my man is and when he's coming out because I want to know when... I want to know how... I need to know. I need to know if I'm gonna be. I need. Ah! I need to know. I want to save for him. God damn it. <laughs> Alright. Uh, once again, code and chat for those of you guys on Twitch. Uh, for those of you guys on uh, YouTube, remember that the codes that you see on screen will be redeemable uh, as of time of upload, so please remember to claim them ASAP. They expire pretty darn soon. 
in about a day or so. Yeah, as of time of recording, a day, as of time of upload, maybe about half a day. So yeah, remember, redeem, it's 300 gems. Alright, I'll skip ahead a bit. Oh no, what did I do? There you go. Yes, the Diversion Universe! This is... Let's go! Oh god, have I finished my SU run for this week? Okay, I'll have to check that later. <laughs> oh god, okay. Screw and ratio. Divergent Universe, the human comedy, is a brand new project path. Okay. Up until now, the aim of the simulated universe has been to research the stories of the eons. Mm -hmm. I'm assuming that the human comedy has more of a human focus. Seems like it, yeah. That's the main research thrust of this phase of the simulated universe. Hmm. Looks like this project will be conducted on Yeah, okay, okay. So what we saw was the Divergent Universe. Tell you a little more about it. First up, God, it looks cool. Breaking update to the Divergent Universe, the arithmetic mapping function. In the Divergent Universe, drawings can switch between characters they already possess. Huh. Ooh. So they can create their own lineups? I'm confused. What does that mean? When testing the Divergent Universe, Trailblazers will no longer be limited by character downloads. When oh. Downloads current equilibrium level cap. Oh. Automatically increase to meet the cap. What the heck? If Wait, that's cool. That is so one, cool. Yo. Them in the Divergent Universe. That is cool. It increases to a set level. Cannot enhance yeah. while viewing in projection mode. Fair enough. Uh huh. Or not, in that situation, temporary light cones and relics at the current equilibrium level cap will be automatically assigned. That is disgusting. Wait, what the heck? Ain't it great? Now we must wait. Wait. That is that is a new set. Those are new sets of uh, planar ornaments and uh, um, what's that thing called? Like the uh, armor set. What the heck? Okay, more relics to farm. God damn it. For automatic. <laughs> now we mustn't overlook Dr. Ratio's new brainway. God, that looks cool. 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 Look at that. Of two different paths. Before the start of every test, Trailblazers Are you have for the real? to select a random equation. And for the equation to take effect, you'll need different amounts of path blessings. Fair enough. Once the required amount has been achieved, the equation will activate, and the team can obtain the corresponding combat ability. Bro. Of three stars. I see. That looks so, so the cool. Equation star level, Holy the shit. What is happening? You oh wow. It. Oh wow. Things up, the geniuses have kindly marked the required path blessings for each equation in Trailblazer's possession. Knowing which blessings can Fucking beautiful. Equation, Absolutely fucking beautiful. Five. God damn. That's so considerate. Really if is. God damn. Choose, just follow the mark. Adapting your choices to suit your equation allows you to cater the effects to your current team. God damn. It works both ways. What are they fighting? Oh, Argenti. Composition to better suit your current equation. I want to see Trailblazers. Oh, that's new. That is new. So that is new. I accidentally chose an unsuitable blessing. Or if I want to switch my current equation, can I make a change? You can? Of course. By visiting <gasps> the workbench of creation. No, that's so cute. Overwrite their existing equation and switch it out for another. Are you for real? Out for okay. Or even enhanced. Huh? Bro, that's so cute. More purchasable items? Oh. oh. Am I hallucinating? More Did curios. Really lower the prices? The curio system has been upgraded. In addition to normal curios, oh, wow. trailblazers can also choose from weighted curios. Wait it, curious. suited to characters of specific paths or types, and really Holy. experience. Keep your eyes What the flip? Separately. Oh, that's new. That's new. Domains of the divergent universe. Wealth and escapade. Is this gambling? <laughs> 
Slot machine? Of a program error, your cosmic fragments could be wasted, or even land you with negative curious. Oh damn! Sometimes the same starting point can lead to very different. Using a venturine, yeah, sounds about right. Sounds about right. Important component. Triple air, triple elation. Nice. An impressive optimization that left a big impression on your buddy Albert. When suffering defeat in the simulated universe, uh -huh. Trailblazers no longer need to force stop the game. Divergent Universe Combat now allows for restart challenges. Oh my and god. Can select a new Bro. Lineup. I've always wanted that function. That's After insane. That is insane. Trailblazers can acquire synchronicity points and inspiration. Holy shit. To activate the buff nodes and inspiration <gasps> circuits. Whoa. Testing the simulated universe. Why does this look so cool? Yo. Thanks for all the info, Albert. It's Holy just... crap. Didn't you forget something important? Yes. What about the, the Planar Ornaments? I thought you'd never ask. <laughs> the planar ornament extraction function has arrived. Every time Trailblazers clear the Divergent Universe, God damn. they can choose to save a record of that challenge and archive the data of the equation, blessings, and curios in question. Choose the planar ornament you want. Use the archive. Inherit the data and buffs from the archive. Challenge the boss enemy and obtain immersion reward. That is. That is. That is. <laughs> Amazing! Skip that is ahead. so amazing. The boss to get Holy! Are we sure this isn't some cracked version of the simulated universe that Silver? Oh my there? God! Okay, so that's the new boss that we're fighting. Gotcha. Holy! Okay. Brand new simulated universe. <laughs> Sounds they made it so much easier to farm. Yeah, what the heck? <laughs> now, in version 2. .3, All right. The divergent universe will be adding two new planar ornaments. Forge of the Dynasty Oh, okay. Duran Duran. <laughs> God, this looks so cool. Planar ornament extraction function to get a hold of them. This is a very Under welcome change. I will say I love this. The divergent universe will have a weekly cyclical extrapolation objective. Oh? By completing this weekly challenge, Trailblazers can obtain a first-time completion reward Ooh. as well as additional synchronicity points. Oh, that looks so cool. That looks really cool. God damn it. Universe, Madam Herda has added the five-star erudition light cone. Eternal, Eternal calculus. Hey yo. Trailblazers who wish to redeem it better start reserving some Herda bonds. This is why you be like me, guys. I've saved out all my Herda bonds from the start. I've not used them at all. I can purchase any like cone I want. Those are some gameplay improvements. This is amazing. Big improvements indeed. God damn. The fastest of the universe, the eons are beyond our reach. Humanity must learn to rise from its falls and strike its own path. Mm -hmm. When gazing up at the stars, it's important to keep your feet planted firmly on the ground. The stories in Divergent Universe, the human comedy, may seem small, but that does not make them insignificant. Trailblazers, get exploring. This is this is them dropping hints that whatever story you're gonna see inside there is gonna be is is gonna be a foreshadowing for what's gonna happen in the future. Because that's what happened for Swarm Disaster. That's what happened for Swarm Disaster with the fall of Anna and that being relevant to this story quest is actually insane apocalyptic shadow oh this with dr edward interesting god i love this game i love this game god damn i love this game is this the first appearance of this faction of the finality? Seems Not like it. Necessarily. A hey, yo. Permanent challenge mode? So what's different? In Apocalyptic Shadow, Trailblazers will challenge boss enemies that they have encountered. Argenti and Kokolia. Phase has two enemies, which are split into Ooh. four 
Wait, why does this look so cool? Yo. Oh my god. Probably have different mechanics, right? Yeah. As with other permanent game modes, during the challenge, there are buff effects for trailblazers to choose from for God damn. Else. Make sure you maximize the advantages of your lineup. Defeating enemies through Holy. team adjustments, or by exploring different battle strategies. So this is the hunt. So this is false hunt characters then. Gotcha. Of three floors of three star quick clearances. Nice, just like pure fiction. And after the first time clearance of a hey yo, hey yo, Shay Yi for free. Nice. As well as three hundred stellar jades and wait, three hundred. Wow, they're being nice. that. That's amazing. We're just getting warmed up. All right. Let's take a look at the permanent game mode rotating schedule. The first phase of the Apocalyptic Shadow Challenge will launch on the day of the version 2.3 update and mm. last for six weeks. I see. Okay. Rotationally update according to the following sequence: Apocalyptic Shadow, Pure Fiction, Forgotten. Hope, very goated. Very goated. On every other Monday, the permanent challenge stage is replaced. I would love to have more challenges. Also been optimized. Uh. When entering the three permanent game mode screens from the Interastral Peace Handbook, mm -hmm. aside from being able to see the challenge lineups <coughs> of their friends, trailblazers wow. can also easily check the star level progress of their current challenge. Oh, On the that's game cool. Liberation screen, trailblazers can use preset lineups to create their team and even customize with drag and drop. That is <laughs> cool. That is cool. Now let's talk rewards, shall we? By All right. It, it should be the same, I think. Yeah. It's, it's the same as, like, Pure Fiction or your uh, other one. You might want to take another look at our agreement, Albert. Oh, it's 80. 800? The maximum number of stellar jades awarded in each phase of the Forgotten Hall. Oh, they! Wow! Wow! Increasing from 720 to 800. Wow! Budgetary increase will be funded through. Albert. Oh my God, Albert! Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Albert. Shade is a risky proposition. Okay, to be fair, it's not really a major update. It's 80 stellar jades. Every two weeks. It's not version. that much, then but it I, I, I was weeping. it's still not bad. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think Owlbert's seen the bright side. <laughs> <laughs> so like you went from like a uh, let me think. Yeah, it's about like fifteen. Ooh, origami birds. Ooh. Bring with them a little game. Ooh. Little birdie. An arcade game? Huh? Let me give Silverwolf a call. These origami birds are very endearing. But why do I have a sense of deja vu? <laughs> this arcade game? <clears throat> Need to cause oh, with wait, what is this? Steps in order to oh, it's a match tree game. It's just bejeweled all over again. That is cool. Okay. In combat values. When your opponent's HP returns to zero, like my bank account, victory <laughs> <is failed. laughs> Like my bank account, you mean? Could it really be? I see. Okay. Legendary. Match five, match five. No. Please keep keep this as a permanent one. The origami bird class event. Trailblazers can also do battle freely with friends from across the universe. Ooh. Can I fight Silverwolf? Of course. Be they old buddies or gaming acquaintances, <gasps> you can connect and play. Oh, that's cool. Okay. 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 Stellar Shimmer. Does that name ring any bells for anyone? I'm going back to Herda Space Station. Stellar. Stellar Flare. Is this the sequel? You're a sharp one, Miss Zachary. Stellar Flare? Stellar Shimmer brings with it lots of brand new challenge mechanisms and trial character lineups. Catering your team to suit the mechanisms oh, wow. is the key to victory. And you get These trial characters as well for free. Nice. Care to divulge a little more? 
Damage. Stages, breaking an enemy's weakness can grant you an extra action. In other stages, characters enjoy unlimited revivals and can regenerate 50% of their energy. Five is doing Does mad damage. Like this can try doing away with survivability units and focus purely on damage output lineups? Mm -hmm. Of course, of course. As possible in a set number of cycles to complete the challenge and obtain rewards. God damn. That's God damn. Time we took another breather. God Do damn. More fascinating updates on version 2.3. Dude, this update is back. God damn. All right. Oh, you guys, wait. When is next Wednesday? McCartney on the 7 slash 8 June. <coughs> Sorry about that. Okay, so the update's coming on the 19th. No, I'm not free then. Yikes. Okay, I should be able to play the new update on the week itself that it comes out. So I think that would be really good. So if you guys would like to see that, uh, especially for those of you guys watching on YouTube, just keep a look out. Uh, the Twitch channel, of course, is linked, in, um, is linked down below. So do have a look at that. And yeah, I think that'll be really interesting. I got drink water. A fro is not treating me kindly. All right, but this is a really stacked update. Holy crap! Because oh, I forgot the last code. Oh, my bad. Thrilling tradition. Who? of Odyssey. Ay ay Of course. The usual. Of course. There's also version 2.3's double event. Planar Fisher. Good friends, Planar Fisher, and Realm of the Strange. Of course, of double course. Planar ornaments and materials. What's oh, not to love? Of course. Also in this version are the newly added new cavern of corrosions. All right. A set suitable for follow-up attack damage and ultimate DPS character. Are you telling me that I gotta farm again? <laughs> and break and super break DPS characters. My trailblazer is at like what 270% break damage? Are you telling me I have to farm more new sets? Oh boy, this is not gonna be fun. I mean of course, um my current sets are pretty good, so who knows? Who knows? We'll see, we'll see. And the wind soaring valor. Trailblazers can head for the Cavern of Corrosion, Path of Cavalier Challenge. Ooh, okay, this is in the Grand Theater. Mm -hmm. And let's not forget the new Path of Erudition Trace Path of Erudition, yep, fair enough. Brand new calyxes, rough sketch, dynamic outlining, and exquisite colored draft. For JD, Trailblazers who wish of to course. level up traces for me, these materials are indispensable. Mm. So many updates! Indeed. Man, I can't wait for this version to drop. <sighs> and we're at the end of the version two. Oh, no other optimizations. Well, I guess it's the SU optimization is pretty cool. This wide night. Thanks again no, not. Oh. And God, I love Panacone, though. The version 2.3 story. Here's hoping the Panacone discussions make for smooth sailing. God damn. Trailblazers do support the work of the IPC. I mean, I'm with the uh, simulated universe and the divergent un universe, yeah, definitely, definitely. Don't forget to try them out. Indeed, we will. Uh, in that case, see you in the next stream, Trailblazers. See you, Firefly. For you at the usual spot. Of course. Bye. <laughs> bye, bye. All right. Ah, <sighs> goddamn. What the heck is <laughs> this anyway? Uh, of course. That's it. That's it. I made it. Of course. What am I? I got. Show to them. Oh boy. <laughs> Virgin names. They're too afraid to read out for themselves. What do you, what, what's That's happening? All these years. Oh, poor Albert. Poor IPC. Albert. And even the audience thinks I'm an insert. <laughs> oh my God. Oh god, he's having a full mental breakdown. Oh boy. The audacity! 
<laughs> oh, this is funny. This is actually really funny. God damn. <laughs> Huh? Shao Chi and Teacup. Sorry, Mr. Albert. We'll be giving you seven days of pay time off ASAP. Of course, Shao Chi being roasted chicken and Teacup. Bruh. What, what, a, what a nice callback. I want to know what happened to Sunday. Quit. <gasps> he quit? I got an offer from the CN Joe to host the war dance. The war dance. I'm about to become a big time sports anchor. <laughs> you can get that on your knees and beg for all I care. Is he actually you quitting though? Oh god. <gasps> well, actually, the war dance and offer the and the seven days of pay time off. They're the same thing. Oh my god. <laughs> well, he just passed out. What do we do now? <laughs> Let's find his parts done. Anyway, director, roll the tape. Oh? Gentlemen, welcome to the most important oh? event in the Zienjo calendar. Oh? What is this? The war dance. The war dance. Okay. Here, you will witness members from all Zienjo delegations fight for supremacy in the luminary combat art ceremony. Ooh. Put your hands together for the Tianzhou Yao Qing delegation. Yao Qing, the Tianzhou. Swift, his face shall. Face shall. Berlin's claw. Oh. By his side, <laughs> he doesn't drink plain soup and has no. Yao Qing. It's a celebrated medicinal. Yao Qing, let's go. Okay. So it seems like the Sientro is getting a major update soon as well. Holy crap. Hey yo. Mota. Wow. Holy. What is happening? Yun Li. Yeah, we're getting, we're getting her. We're getting her it's one of the next, uh, like the drip marketing or something. Okay. Oh, these are some wordy intros. <laughs> <laughs> and finally, the official host delegation has arrived. Ah, uh, so it's taking place at the Central Law Fu. Okay. Law Fu Central. Having suddenly returned home for the Ling Sha. Who's that? That's new. Interesting. Okay. As an exceptionally gifted and legendary new sword master, who shall remain anonymous for the time being. No wonder they needed me for this gig. <laughs> Stay tuned for the upcoming Summer Games Fest at 7th of June. 2 p.m. PST. I assume it's saying 7th of June. Either that or they're saying 6th of July. No idea how. Not sure if that's catered for US audiences or for the general uh, the general audience because yeah, month date and date month confusing. Okay. So okay, so yeah, so the version 2.3 is coming on June 19th. Uh, if you guys would like to watch me play it live on Twitch, you guys, uh, you guys can. Um, once again, the Twitch uh, link is in the description of the video. You guys can follow me there. Turn on the notice so that you guys know when I'm streaming Star Rail. And yeah, version 2.3 seems to be coming with a lot of amazing, amazing content. The Divergent Universe, the... <laughs> The Divergent Universe is the one that I've been waiting for for quite a while. And then of course, Apocalyptic Shadow, a chance for our hunt characters to finally shine. And then uh, of course, can't forget about the new characters, Jade and Firefly. And of course, the new uh, Trailblazing mission, Farewell Panacone, will be coming down uh, pretty shortly as well. So I can't wait, I can't wait, and I hope you guys are excited this update as much as i am i need to finish up the new clock event pretty soon so yeah uh, i'll definitely have to get started on that very very soon and yeah uh i believe we have come to the end of the video uh thank you all so much for coming uh i wish you guys 
um, happy times in playing Star Rail, of course. And yeah, hope to see you guys in the next video. Have a good time, y'all.